Welcome to Serving Locally with me, your host, Michelle Dinas, a podcast where we spotlight service in the Longmont and surrounding communities. All right, let's connect. Welcome to today's episode of Serving Locally with me. I am here today with Penny with the weight pile on the Rockies, and I was able to find him through a an article on Facebook, and I just happened to uh, track you down. I don't even know how I did it. I think I emailed you or something, yeah. found you something. On the website, Somewhere, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to hear about um, what you've got going on in your service here in Longmont. And so let's just start out with um, who are you? And what is the weight pile on the Rockies? Like, and just in a quick overview. Okay. Well, my name is Shams. Uh, everybody calls me Penny. You know what I mean? Well, majority of people do. Um, I'm the owner of King Penny's uh, Supplement Company uh, here in Longmont. Um, so, and also the curator of the weight pile of the Rockies. I'm not like the owner or anything the community is. You know what I mean? Like, because everything started with just donations. You know, and so and it continues to run like that. Um, our uh, mission is just to uh, keep uh, citizens of Longmont active. You know, we want to continue to push people to be physically fit and give them the space to learn how to do so. You know, a lot of people, I think, are intimidated by gyms or, you know, I mean, they go in there. They really don't know what to do. They don't know if they're doing it right. There's a lot of equipment. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot going on, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people moving around you at the same time, mm-hmm. and you don't really want to be in the way of others, you know what I mean? So what I do is I bring them in there, you know, like beginners, and then I show them how each piece of equipment works, how they can do it, which weights to kind of start with, and then they kind of build from there on their own. You know, I use it as a, like I said, just a, a kind of an introduction orientation phase to the gym, but it's also, too, for, like, seasoned gym goers. So, you know what I mean? Like, I push some guys to, like, their limits already. You know, we've been open for, like, three weeks now. You know, I have two guys that have already hit new maxes and new, you know what I mean, just set new numbers and are just skyrocketing awesome. right now. So, yeah. So it's a good feeling. It's that's good. Yeah. I like that. That's that's really cool. I like, um, yeah, I like all that. That sounds really great. Um, can you give us just a little background about what you got going on here? All right, so the Way Pile of the Rockies is uh, a space on uh, 1610 Main Street. So it started off with just a conversation over dinner with mm-hmm. a friend, uh, Rogelio, who owns a RMA uh, Concrete Pumping. And we were out to dinner. We hadn't seen each other in a while, and I, was, I, be, I had been in the gym twice a day training for a competition. Mm-hmm. Finally caught up and stuff like that, and so we ended up having a conversation. And we were just joking around, and he was just like, well, maybe if they move the gym outside, we could see you more often. Mm. And then that started us, huh, why not? And then, you know, me and him got to bouncing ideas back and forth, and he threw his full support behind it. And he's like, I also know a couple other people who will help out as well. And so then it went from just having this conversation to making phone calls, Mm -hmm. you know, to local businesses here in Longmont, like uh, Liberty Auto Sales, uh, District 303. District 303. They are my hair stylist. (laughs) So shout out to Diane Lovato. She is absolutely amazing. And definitely Audrey, too. Yes, Audrey also. And Noe is great, too. He um, he did my husband's beard and stuff and hairstyle for the pageant also. And they are, I love going in there. They're just like family. Yeah, they're really great over there, man. So them... Uh, my old insurance agent, he does commercial insurance, Shad uh, Agency. And, you know, it just all came together. Like, you know, and I was working at the time in Boulder. I was uh, doing trash at Western Disposal. Mm. And they treated me really good. And I didn't want to, like, have to leave. Oh, wow. You know, the supervisors are great. The other drivers are great. You know what I mean? But just the opportunity came up. And it was like one of those things, like, got to pull the trigger. I hear that. You know what I mean? And so... And so everything just fell into place, like found, well, first started calling around trying to find a space to put this. Right. And I guess it's unheard of, (laughs) you know what I mean? Outside of food trucks and things like that Mm -hmm. to do outdoor space here in Longmont. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but back East, you know, you can like buy and rent parking spots. Mm. And so 
when I'm talking to these like commercial real estate agents and stuff like that, like, hey, how much for eight to ten parking spots in a if they can, <laughs> and they're like, Why? You are you have lost it. <laughs> like, we don't do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, we don't. I've and, never and heard what of you're anything. trying to do and right. what are you trying to do? Right. And you know, I know, I'm trying to explain it to them and stuff like that. And I'm like, giving them visual, like, hey, this, this, and this, 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 and this, you know what I mean? Like pretty much a gym. But not like the full on, like, you know, like full on gym experience. And so they're like, nah. Then finally, I caught up with the uh, guy, uh, Ben, a realtor with uh, Tebo. And, you know, I told him what I was trying to do. And he was just like, you know, he gave me the, hmm, you know, <laughs> let me get back to you. And then, you know, like, and I, and I got that from a lot of them. And a lot of them were very helpful, you mm-hmm. know, pushing me in the directions and stuff like that. And that's what I've been most surprised about, like, just to help the overall. Right. You know, everybody has chipped in the city and, every, you know, what I mean, like all the companies, everything like that. Been very helpful. That's awesome. Like I've yet to hear no. A complete like, no, I've heard a let me look into this. Or, right. Well, I don't know, but I've never heard like a no. Like everybody's just been like, well, let me point you in this direction. Try this out. And then so. So we found the space on a Wednesday and Tebow, uh, the company agreed to, you know, give me eight parking spots and mark them off. And so that was Wednesday. Thursday, we signed a lease. Friday, we gathered the equipment. And Saturday, we were open. Wow. Like it just got, like I said, just kind of flowed. That's and awesome. it was a beautiful thing, you know what I mean? But at the same time, <laughs> it really didn't, the marketing strategy really wasn't there. <laughs> right. The weather really wasn't helping. Right. And like, you know, like the first day, we were kind of out there in the snow. Mm. And, you know, people were out there lifting in the snow. People still showed up, you know what I mean? Like people that were part of it who knew. Right. And, you know, and since then, like I said, over the last like few weeks, more and more people have shown up and more and more people have donated stuff. More and more people are participating. Some people are just come by asking questions, taking pictures. And it's just been, like I said, just been a blessing. Yeah. You know, and also too, like, and, you know, like, and people like I still go to my gym, mm-hmm. like I'm an anytime fitness member and I'm not giving that up just because I love like the flexibility of I can go anywhere. Right. You know, like I was down in the Springs, you know, what I mean, I stopped by at any time in Monument, like, you know, got to pump in and stuff like that. And then continued about my way. You can't you have to keep that at all times. Right. And so, you know, like all the local gyms are great, but I'm encouraging people just to try something different. Maybe Absolutely. if you have a membership one or two days out of the week or if you don't have a membership, hey, come by, check this out. That way you don't have to really commit to a membership yet. You can learn and mm-hmm. see if this is something you want to do because a lot of people, they'll jump in and you know what I mean? Then what have I gotten myself into? It's overwhelming. Or, or life happens. Right. You know, and so what I'm trying to do is trying to bridge the gap and also, you know what I mean? Like I said, just encourage people, you know, and also bring a sense of community. You know, I was explaining to them, um, you know, like when they do the block parties down here. Mm-hmm. You know, the feeling is different in the city versus mm-hmm. just seeing people move downtown. Mm-hmm. Like if you go downtown on a normal weekend, people are kind of just walking past each other. Right. But if you go to like one of the block parties that the city does and stuff like that, you just see people engaging. Yeah. You see them, you know. Smiling at each other. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, since COVID, I guess it's been kind of uptight. And even in gyms, like even where there is a rapport with people, everybody has their headphones on. Right. Or, you know what I mean? Everybody kind of has their own little thing. And I'm here to do a specific yeah, thing. Get in, get out, yeah. get back to work or get back home or, you know. And what I'm trying to do is I encourage people to live together. Mm. You know what I mean? Or, And I spot everybody, you know what I mean? Like I help them out and change weight for them, try to help out their workout so they can save some of their energy for the next set. And it's just like I said, and I've noticed that other people are other personal trainers are starting to show up and other coaches from other fields are, you know, coming and helping people. And and like I said, it's just people helping people. And mm-hmm. that's like the beauty of it all so far. It is beautiful. Yeah. I feel that a lot. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah I've never heard of anything like this before either. So when well, I saw do. it, I was like. No, they have it. Really? Like, you know, like, I mean, in big places, you know, like Venice Beach uh, in California and L.A., they okay. got the Muscle Beach. Yeah. You know, Miami has one that's really nice. Yeah. You know, but just I'm like, so, and this goes back to the conversation I was having with them. Colorado has some of the nicest days. We have like, 360 days of sunshine on average. You know, even yes. on the bad days. Yeah, even like, on the bad days. I, I remember one day, like, it was like negative two. Yeah. Right? The day started off negative two. 
And it hit like 40 something and it felt like summer. Right. Like, for, you know, from negative two to 40 something. Exactly. Hey, it's like a big draft. You can go ahead and take this coat off now. You know what I mean? Like, yep. But, you know, but just the weather's great. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? Like, why not? Yeah. Why not uh, a weight pile on the Rockies? You know, like we don't have the beach, but we have the beautiful, beautiful Rocky Mountains as the backdrop. Mm -hmm. And you can see them from the parking lot. You know what I mean? Because you got oh, a straight wow. shot down, you know, like uh, down like 17th. Mm -hmm. So whatever 17th can see, you can. You know what I mean? Eyeball, and it's just perfect. And then on top of that, you're benching, looking up at the sky, hearing the sounds, and it's just, it's just, it's just a different experience. Absolutely. And that's what I want everybody to have this summer. Oh, I love it. Isn't that great? You want to go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wants to go. Yeah. Awesome. So, what is your focus at the White Pile of the Rockies? My main focus, like I said, is community. Like I want to bring everybody together. I want everybody to see. You know, what what working out can do for you, what can it bring to your life? Mm -hmm. You know, like I was raised uh, by my father who raised me really well. But as I got older, I kind of did my own thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like discipline kind of went out the window. I, You know what I mean? Like I've had my bumps and bruises with, you know, problems and stuff like that. But lifting weights brought me a sense of discipline that I instilled in myself, mm. where you learn accountability, you learn hard work, you learn, you know what I'm saying, that you have to prepare the day before. Like, I can't just, like, so say, for instance, I have a heavy workout in the morning. I can't just stay up and watch Netflix or, you know what I mean, Hulu or something like that. Like, you have to go to sleep. Right. You, you have, have to rest. eat right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have, there's all these things that I have to do to get up in the morning and prepare. And... That structure in life, a lot of people have it, but this just provides that little extra bit that, you know what I mean, where some people struggle with their diet. Once you're in the gym and you start seeing results, that diet kind of, it'll control itself because you want to keep that. Yeah. You want to hold on to that. Oh, I can kind of see, you know what I'm saying? Something <laughs> yep. in the mirror. If you kind of see something in the mirror, hold on. What, what was yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So when you go to eat, you know what I mean? They, they'll be passing around the seconds, and you're like, hey, hold on to that for a <laughs> second. And so that's what I, you know what I mean? I want other people to have. I want other people to know that regardless of who you are, you know, and we were talking about it the other day, you know, like your religious uh, affiliation, your political party. I've never seen anybody, you know what I mean, deny helping somebody in the gym, mm. regardless of you know, and we it's live kind in, of a neutral ground. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and everything's so uh, divisive now, and you know what I mean. And but this space is just pure. Right. You know what I mean, and everybody works, and it's equal because right. you get in, you get out what you put in here. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, like so you could tell who's working and who's not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, because this doesn't lie. Right. You know what I mean, and so that's just the beauty of it. There's no cheating. There's no. You know what I mean? Like you can't you just, fake it. Yeah, yeah, you can't fake going in here and putting in work. Cause I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be sore. Yes, you know what I mean. But that sore feeling that you get, that is from what you have done, right. and you should take Progress. it as a sense of pride. Absolutely. You know, like when you see somebody walking and they're like <laughs> look like they've been riding horses for two days, and you know what Good I mean job. from a leg workout. <laughs> right? Like you know what I mean? Like oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's and other people who do that, they understand and respect it. Right. And that, and I think that that's the biggest thing, you know, for each each of us to have that feeling and have that common bond. Mm -hmm. Whereas we all know that hey, we're working towards a common goal, and that's just bettering ourselves. Bettering, our, yeah, exactly. You know, at the end of and the day, and helping others better themselves exactly. also with with positive, um, encouraging motivation, motivating. That's great, and just to provide that space. That's that's. And I'm that's sure, awesome. and I'm sure you know that, like, since you won the crown, like, you know what I mean, like even. Even though it is competitive, mm -hmm. girls are backstage. Girls are still kind of helping or, you know oh, what I mean? It's like not, It's a sisterhood. You see it what I'm is saying? not. We're not tripping each other back there. No, we're helping each other. You know, oh, my earring. And yeah. oh, here I got, I have extras. Or, oh, my class broke. Well, let me sew that on. Like, yeah, absolutely. And it's like it, a, it's a sense of community. Exactly. With that, within that. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? And, and I think that, you know, like, Maybe we get caught up in our day-to-day -day so mm -hmm. much or what we have going on so much that we need that. Mm -hmm. We need to feel part of, of, of the community because, like I said, everybody – and, you know, when I say this, I don't mean this in a negative way, but all people maybe don't feel part of the community. Right. You know what I mean? Like, And so this is a way for people to feel part 
You know, like I have, you know, like I have homeless people who come help me. Mm. You know, they help me pick up trash in the morning, you know what I mean? Because I clean up the parking lot. Because the space I had, it was kind of bad, you know, like when I got there. Mm -hmm. But like over the course of like a week or two, you know what I mean? Like picked up all the trash, all, just the parking lot in general. And now you can see people like when they walk by, like even the homeless people, like that come around regularly. They'll pick it up. Mm. And you know that right there alone. That's great. And you know, and I let them know, you know what I mean? Like, hey. Thank you for that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. Appreciate you helping the community. Exactly. Absolutely. And then once it starts there, then who knows what's possible Mm -hmm. for just that just that small piece of humanity. (sighs) Yes. You know, and and like I said, I just want everybody to feel that, you know, because I think for a a long time that maybe something's missing within us. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, I last like two months ago. You know, I caught myself in the mirror. It was like 3 in the morning, I'm at the gym, and I caught myself in the mirror, and I had just finished this hard workout. And, you know, like I was on the way out the door, bag in hand, and, like, I caught myself in the mirror, and I said to myself, you know, like, I love you. Mm. And not in, like, a vein. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time I've ever, Mm. like, felt that. Like, it was a genuine, like, I care about you. And, you know, like that really hit me hard. You know, I went home and I called my friend and I was telling her about it. And I'm just like, and she's like, you know what I mean? She like started to get all teary eyed and stuff like that. But I'm like, it was crazy because I had to double take myself. Like, who are you? <laughs> like, who are you talking to? But then I realized it was me. Mm. And, and, and part of me saw like that, you know, like kind of like that inner child, that inner and, you know, this was after the workout. So it was, like, kind of crazy because it's just, like, a whole thing, man. And and I don't know. I just felt uh, comfort that I haven't had in a while. Mm. And so giving that back to others or letting others feel that is a big thing for me. And that, that fills your cup, too. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. So. Oh, that's great. So who are you trying to reach? At this moment, uh, just... Right now, here here, and right now, just the citizens in the community of Longmont, you know. But we are reaching further. Are you? You know, I mean, it's crazy. Like, I had a guy reach out to me from Aurora. How did you go about getting this started? We got better views. That's what he first thing he said. <laughs> we got better views over top of, like, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, you know. And so, but right now, just here, yeah. trying to reach the community, trying to get everybody to come by. And like I said, just have this experience, have this you know, how many times can you say you've lifted outside, period? Like, you know what I mean? Even if you, like I said, people just, some people just come and take pictures. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I have like a whole bunch of pictures, like of just me with people. Like, yeah. just come by, I want to take a picture with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll be back in a couple of days to work out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's, but it's them coming out and just seeing the space. Mm-hmm. Because people, they, they kind of see it. And like, even like I was telling you about the commercial realtors. Mm-hmm. When I tell them about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, but then a couple of them hit me after it opened, and the article came out. It came out. Oh, you now know what I, I mean? Now I see about. what you're talking yeah. about. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and and people also do that too. Like, mm-hmm. they they saw it on Facebook or whatever, or they heard about it on Instagram, and then they show up. This is a gym for real. Like. What they thought, I don't know. Right. Like, you know what I'm be saying? a jump rope. Yeah, and like, you know what I mean? A couple like, yoga mats it. laying <laughs> yeah. around, like, we're out here, you know. But then they come and they're like, oh, yeah, this is a gym for real. And like, to be outside in Colorado, like, that's so, that should be something that's not that far fetched for us to, like, imagine. But I, I love that idea. It's just fantastic. Amazing. I'm, it is. I, I'm trying to tell you, amazing. Like, you, how many people you see, like, and you get stronger mm-hmm. just from the sun, feeling the sun. Yes. You know, it's just something about it's, it's, it brings it something feeds out. You. Yes. It feeds you. You know what I mean? And it like, and you're mm-hmm. laying there or you're doing whatever and the sun's hitting you, fresh air, mm-hmm. you know, is hitting you. And, you know, like, you know, you might be breathing hard and you enjoy the, the heavy, like, you know, because you're taking in just fresh, pure, clean air and it's, uh, it's no, it's no feeling like it. And I hear guys all the time because usually I'm kind of standing over top of them. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. helping them, like spotting them. Mm-hmm. And you can hear them say, 
oh, this is crazy. Like, you know, because, like, you're up in the sky. I mean, you see, like, planes. You see the birds. You, see, you, you it's, it's not no, just it's fluorescent clouds, lighting. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you can hear people Water say, stains and on And when the people lay back, <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah, this is crazy. Like, you know. It's where we're supposed to be. Yeah. It's where we're supposed to and be. And that's it. That right there, that fi- just just that feeling alone. Like, it, it, regardless if you even work out, right. if you just come out here and lay back and, you know what I mean, just, just take it in. Just be. And you say, like, oh, man. And then you throw it. I'm a big sound guy. So I like to hear people banging weights. I like to hear, you know what I mean? I like, I love to hear grunting. I love to hear. The work. N- n- yes. I love to hear it. Mm-hmm. Kind of frowned upon in gyms. <laughs> just a, l- a little bit. Yeah. Depending on where you're at and what time of day you're there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like. But me, I love to hear it. I love to hear. I love to, you know what I mean? I love to see it. Mm-hmm. I like to see people sweating. I like to see people like pushing themselves. Because then it tells me, oh, okay. Like, you know, not in a comp- competitive way, but, oh, I have another gear that I need to, you know what I mean? And, you know, sometimes just when you go to the gym long enough, you kind of go through the motions. Yeah. So I'm always reaching. Mm -hmm. Like for some sort of inspiration, whether it be from a quote I hear, Mm -hmm. whether it be from a book I've read or whether it be, you know, somebody struggling in life that persevered through it. I'm always reaching for that next like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, that was hard, but he made it through. Right. Like, you know what I mean? And so when I get caught in. He can do that. Yeah. Or if you get caught in a deep set, like you're super setting something. And, you know, like I'm like 21 in the arms and blowing them out and I'm getting down to like 18 and I don't have anything left. One more. You know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) okay, (laughs) people, people are going through worse things than this or people, you know what I mean? So I'm always searching for something. That's awesome. And so, but that's what I want that sort of sense of community, whereas you know that people are here for you Mm -hmm. and that people are wanting to see you go to the next, like, you know what I mean? The next level. That's great. Oh, I love this conversation. This is, <laughs> I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, uh, that's just in a different way. But yeah, I absolutely love yeah. it. That's fantastic. What makes the what makes your work at the gym different than other similar serving organizations or situations? Honestly, There's besides the like outside, <laughs> besides the outside, you know what I mean, and everything like that. Like I said, Longmont gyms are great. Mm-hmm. Like I used to go to Gold's Gym, mm-hmm. but now I live closer to any time, so I go there. But you know what I mean? And I heard they, they have a great one at uh, the train station. I haven't made it there yet, but just seeing some of the clips and a couple guys who stop by, they go there and they speak highly of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I want keep everybody that. to keep yeah. that membership. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to go over there and check that out first <laughs> chance I get. Like, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I want everybody to keep their memberships. But like I said, I just want you to come out and experience something different. Mm. You can always, you know what I mean? You can always say you went to the gym on Tuesday. But you can't always say that, hey, I was working out outside squatting on a Tuesday. Absolutely. And people be like, what? Like, you know what I mean? With full-on squat rack with 315 pounds on your back and squatting outside. And- with somebody that you <laughs> yeah. can trust to help you Definitely. through it. Because I think that's another thing is just going to the gym by yourself. You know, I need a spotter. Yeah. I need somebody to help me through this. I want to help somebody else through this, you know? So it's like, yeah, that team... The team and, and that relationship. Also, I struggle, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I work. I, it used to work out like super early in the morning. Mm. And like I was in there by myself. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I mean? Can't really push it all the way to the limit that I that I really should or right. that I really felt that I could. Can't do it alone. And so, and you know, like, so now I push other people. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know, you got that same one that you were talking about. Everybody gets that from me. No, you got one more up in there somewhere. Yep, <laughs> like, yep, you know yep. what I mean? And so, but people appreciate it at the right. end of the day. They, they say, oh. I never, you know what I'm saying, thought I could do it, Mm -hmm. but it's there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like I said, once they have that trust factor or, you know what I mean, they know that somebody's there and, you know, with them in this, you know, like, because all that's all I really tell them sometimes. It's you and me now. Let's go. Like, you know what I mean? And that kind of, I guess, gives them the reassurance to push that limit. And so... You know, like my other spotters that come there, too. I have uh, one guy, Jeff. Uh, he's from uh, the Boulder Salt uh, Company and mm-hmm. stuff like that. He helps people out a lot. And, you know what I mean? Just like I said, just all hands on deck. You know, like everybody who comes, I'll be right back. Like, you know what I mean? Or let me go get somebody. We got to, you know what I mean? And they'll go get their friend or go get their brother. And, you know, people who are sometimes in the morning, people before they go to work. Mm-hmm. You know, some of like the landscapers and stuff like that. When they're getting ready to go, when they they'll meet up there, 
Mm. And you know what I mean? Everybody will load up there and they'll work out like someone will work out while they're waiting for other people and then they'll take off. I just want to make it a space that's everybody can use, utilize the most. You know what I mean? If you, you know, I, I honestly, I visualize one morning doing like sunrise yoga mm. or something, you know what I mean, of the sort. Like, you know, or like a hit class or some sort of cardio. We've been trying to get the CrossFit going, you know, just reaching out to different, uh, like I said, just personal trainers and instructors and just trying to get them to maximize the space. Right. It's a free space. You can bring your clients or you can come grab some new ones, you know what I mean? Or, you know, or just help people, period. Right. You know, and like I said, it's just an opportunity to give back. But also, too, I want to enrich everyone who touches the space. So, yeah. That's great. Um, do you have any great, do you have any needs? Um, well, I hate to talk about that, honestly. Okay. I hate to. Well, you don't have to say much. No, but I mean, like. <laughs> but because, you do have because needs. There are needs. There, and there are, you want to, my goal is to plug people into, I want to help in this situation. So if they have the means, the time, the effort, the the talent and whatever to help, then I want to be able to connect them. So that's what this podcast is about. Well, like I said, all of the equipment is donated. Mm -hmm. So we have all the equipment. But like I said, when you talk about needs, mm -hmm. like we could use like okay. a couple new bars. Right. But it's not like a urging like we're going to stop just because we don't have bar. We'll use the older ones kind of we have that are, you know, that have maybe slight little damage to it or something like that. Or And you can always use more weight just period like plates and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, asking people for these things is just kind of hmm, let's you know what I mean. But like I said, we do we we do um, have a rent to pay, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and insurance mm -hmm. on the space. And. I don't specifically ask people. Right. You know, I reach out to different companies. Right. I, and you know what I mean? Like I said, a lot of them have, you know what I mean? But I'm not, I haven't reached a nonprofit status. You know what I mean? Right. Like I'm a nonprofit here in Colorado, but I'm trying to fix that with the IRS right now. I have it pending. Mm. And so I get an answer in like two weeks or something okay. like that. But you know what I mean? But also too, I hate to lean on the same companies. Mm -hmm. You know, even though they are, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay. But you know what I mean? It's just like. I would like other companies to get involved. Right. But my network is, you know what I mean? It's it's limited because I do spend a lot of time at the space. Right. So getting out and, you know what I mean, doing all this is kind of limited. So I guess the need would also be I would like a, a, other people to volunteer maybe. Yes. And take up some of that time because if they take up some of this time, then I can go out and do this. I can go out and do that. You know what I mean? And different things like that. And so... I guess the need will probably be, be be maybe just more participation right now, more right. involvement, more, you know what I mean, more than I guess the financial and the equipment. Right. No. More just people. And then, absolutely. Then we can go out. Time. Then yeah. we can go out and get the rest. Yeah. Exactly. You know, would be the biggest, like you know, need right now. Right. People don't know your, you know, know things unless you you say them, yeah. and, and then then people can bless you in ways that you know, like they're oh, I can I can I can do that. But for I, you. yeah, and I understand that. But I also I just don't like to feel like, you know, like when I when, this space is free, right? Right. So I hate to even bring up financial, you know what I mean, like at all. Right. You know what I mean, like it's something that I kind of do behind the scenes, right. like you know what I mean, so where people don't have to even think about it. Right. And, but I get. You know what I mean? Like, you should say, closed mouth, don't get fed, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, but at the same time, I just don't want people to worry about that. No, and that's awesome. I want them just to come, enjoy, you know what I mean? I'll figure it out. And, you know what I mean? I have a couple other people that work with me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We'll figure it out. Just work out and enjoy. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. And like I said, we're going to keep this ship afloat. <laughs> so, so, you know what I mean? We made it this far. And like I said, just off of just blessings. Mm -hmm. And so, you know what I mean? Like... I think we're going to, you know what I mean? We'll f we'll figure out a way. I have every confidence that y your ship is going to sail. Yeah. like, And it is going to go far because I think that that is th the energy that you have behind it and just the just what it is is just so so unique and so, like you said, beautiful. And it's just amazing. So. And I'm sure you know what feeling is to wake up and find your passion. Yes. You know what I mean? Like it's, you know, I wake up, you know what I mean? I pray. Mm -hmm. work out mm -hmm. and then I go open this space you know what I mean and help people yeah and it's like you know even some people 
you know, I, I text him. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up this morning? You know what I mean? <laughs> Where you at? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, what you going to do this morning? Right? Or, you know what I mean? Or people will text me like, hey. That I'm accountability th- is something, oh, exactly. man, that, that helps. It does. And, you know, yeah, especially does. for people who have goals. Mm-hmm. Or, or at least you tell me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is what you're trying to do. I'm going to hold you I'm, to I'm going to, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to be on you about, hey, what are we doing? What do, you know what I mean? Like, how was the diet yesterday? How'd mm-hmm. you do? I'm going to mm-hmm. ask questions because, you know what I mean? We're going to put in work together. You know what I mean? I want to invest in you. I want to I want to bring out the best in you. But also, too, I want you to put in the work in you. Right. And have that, you know, that feeling that I have where, you know, love you, treat you nice, be kind to you. And you, you only know, get one you. Man. And we're, <laughs> and we're the hardest on ourselves. Uh, yes. And you know what I mean? That's like and that used to be like a big struggle. With me. I was very negative, like just my talk, just with my, you know, and like I said, just now. Like, you know what I mean? I've been lifting probably about, like, five years, six years, like, steady, strong. You know what I mean? I've shifted because I used to lift from a place of anger. Mm. Like, I, that's where I'd harness, like, you right. know what I mean? I mean, to be able to pick up, like, 600-something pounds, you have to go somewhere. Right. You know what I mean? You have to find that space. There's but motivation you, somewhere yeah, to, be, to do that. But usually it was from, like, you know what I mean? Like a darker mm. Now it's from a space like where I can kind of, I still have to tap in a little bit every once in a while, but it's for more of a happier, right. like, you know what I mean? Like, I can do this versus having to go, you know what I mean, to all the wrongs that I felt been done to me <laughs> or, you know, like, but it's more of a positive, like, you got this. Mm. You know what I mean? It's more words of encouragement, like my self-talk. And then that help, that falls off into my life. Yeah. So outside of the, outside of the weight room, everything that comes over there, you just transfers on over to life. Like, whereas day-to-day things don't feel bad, things that we hate to do. I'm a big fan of not doing dishes. But you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but, like, it takes five to ten minutes right. to load this dishwasher right. or unload it. And are it. you going to let that feed your day? All or are day. you gonna are you going to overcome that and be like, you know, it's only five minutes and it'll be done. And then I get to go do whatever exactly. else. Exactly. And then mm-hmm. I heard somebody even make something like, I, for the longest time, I've never made my bed. I'm just going to get back in this thing here at some point. <laughs> but, you know, I heard somebody say people don't make their bed just to make their bed. They said they make their bed so when they get back home, regardless of the day, they have a sense of accomplishment that they did something when they look at it. And sometimes coming from somebody that's had a lot of health issues and stuff, like sometimes that's the biggest thing, like doing the dishes or getting up and taking a shower. Like, okay, I, I at least accomplished something. You know what I mean? And so that – so that that comes from that weight room space that I learned it from. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And all that stuff just transfers over. Mm-hmm. And it just makes me want to be better. Mm-hmm. It pushes me to that one more rep. Mm-hmm. All right, let me go ahead and knock these dishes out right quick. Or let me go ahead and do all the things that I don't want to do. Right. Fold laundry. I mean, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But stuff that has to be done. Right. But it gives me that. You know, just that extra motivation to, hey, let me go ahead and take care of this space. In a better attitude. Exactly. Yeah. No, I hear that. And, you know, that's another, and that's another thing, too. Like, I stress to people. Because part of having an outdoor space and making a community is people value it more. Mm-hmm. Like I said, like, you could see people cleaning. You could see people putting stuff away. You could see people... Or, like, if I'm closing up and people are there, I got you. Like, you know what I mean? It's a sense of pride there. Exactly. This is my space. And then this is public. This is not behind closed doors. And this is for somebody else after me. Yeah. It's not just about me. And I think people feel that mm-hmm. when they are, you know what I mean? Like, I guess when you're invested, you know what I mean? You, you feel like I'm a member. Mm-hmm. I am a, you know what I'm saying? I am part of this. Right. And, like, and that's the feeling that I want to have. And. Like I said, once you have it there, it has no other choice but to go back to your neighborhood where you live. Exactly. And you see stuff on the street or something like that. Because you'll see people all the time, you know what I mean, pass stuff by or something like that. And I never understood why people pick it up until, like, now. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm in the neighborhood, something's going down the street or something like that, like, I'll just grab it. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, I'll just just go ahead and do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just take a, like I said, just a sense of pride, a sense of ownership, sense of just self accountability and not letting that blow by, not letting that go by. So, right. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's great. Um, do you have any events coming up or volunteer opportunities? The big question. <laughs> so, on uh, May twenty seventh, I will be 
trying to figure out who has the strongest bench press in Longmont. That's what we're going to do. So May 27th, 1610 Main Street, from 11 to 2, we're going to be doing a bench press competition. So male and female. So we're going to figure out, so just the male and female, who's the strongest, just who can push the most. Then we're going to come back for the guys and see who can push 225 the most. And for the females, we're going to see who can push 95 pounds the most. And this is what we're going to do. And the thing about it is, you know what I mean? Kind of want to put these gyms against each other and see who has the strongest gym. <laughs> like, you, you know what I mean? To kind of take that approach, like, because I want to know who has the strongest lifters. Mm. First of all, I want to know who's strongest. Mm-hmm. But then I want to know who has the strongest set of lifters there. Right. Where's that community yeah. at? Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and also, too, I want the gyms to get involved. I want them I want because I want the people to lift in the gym shirts if they have them to, you know, like Gold's Gym, like they got the little tank tops or whatever. Mm-hmm. I want the people to lift in there because we're going to be doing videos. We're going to be doing pictures. And I want them to get, you know what I mean, um, advertisement or, you know what I mean? The main thing is just getting people out. And satisfying my curiosity, <laughs> you know what I mean, is the biggest thing. Yeah, that's good. And so, you know, that's like the, the, the next big, like, event. And also, too, I'm going to use it as kind of like a relaunch of mm-hmm. the space. Because when I had opened, remember I told you it was snowing. Mm-hmm. So it kind of didn't, you know what I mean, go as planned because people were outside kind of cold. And so I want to do this and maybe bring out, like, you know, like a food truck or something like that. Or, you know, just something to get people out there and... Provide drinks, maybe like hot dogs, hamburgers and something like that. And just so people can come out and check out the space because, you know, we have a really big parking lot, a lot of parking space. I don't know if you know, you know, the big five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know exactly where it's at. There's a lot of space. (laughs) You know what I mean? And so we're going to just go ahead and take it over for one Saturday and have some music going and, you know what I mean? Have people lift and, you know, like I said, get down to the root of the problem. You know what I mean? (laughs) Who's the strongest? But, you know, but also enjoy. Yeah. You know, have fun doing it. Yeah. And that's like the biggest thing. So that right there. And then as far as like, like I said, just the volunteers will be great. You know, anybody who wants to come, anybody who wants to come take advantage of the space or if they have a class that they want to do or Mm -hmm. if they, you know, like I I just recently got reached out to by a guy who just got his personal trainer certification. And he's trying to navigate how to talk to people and how to, you know what I mean, get clients and how to work with people and stuff like that in real life. You know what I mean? Versus the classroom. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And so this space is good for that. Absolutely. You know, like where you can talk to people, you can engage, you can, you know what I mean? Get feedback from them. Like, you know what I mean? What works for you? What works? Like, you know what I mean? And that's like, just like I said, just the beauty of the space because it is whatever you want it to be. Mm-hmm. You know, like no one person can, you know, dictate how we're going to, you know what I'm saying, operate. But we're just going to respect the space and do what we want to do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, make it whatever it is that you want it to be. And I think that that, would, that eventually is going to make us really successful. Absolutely. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got I, no doubt about that at yeah. all. That's great. How can people contact and find out more about the weight pile on the Rockies? So you can find out more. Uh, we have a Facebook page. It's uh, the weight pile on uh, Facebook. Also, to uh, there's a uh, like the King Penny Sups on Instagram, you know, post up a lot of videos, like have people post up videos and tag it a lot, you know, just from workout videos that they have done there. And, you know, that and also too, like j- just my website, you know, my website, uh, I have a www.kingpennysupplement.com. Uh, you can um, make donations there, you know, and um, like I said, but once. Um, the uh, nonprofit gets approved, everything will be shifted over. You know what I mean? Like, and it'll just be its own entity. Right. Like, you know what I mean? That That's the overall goal just to make it. Because eventually, I want the, the nonprofit to be able to fund other things too. Like, you know, I get with guys and we do 5Ks and 10Ks. Like, it was just like three or four of us, you know what I mean, um, over St. Patrick's Day, mm. you know, that ran like a 5K race in Lions. Mm. You know what I mean? And, you know, out of the company funds, you know what I mean? Hey, everybody, I'll sign everybody up. Everybody put on these company shirts, let's go. On a Saturday morning, just on a whim. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, told everybody, like, Thursday, Friday, we all signed up. Saturday, we're all racing. (laughs) And then everybody kind of go do their own thing. Ready, break. But it's just something different on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, even people who don't run. Mm -hmm. You know, just who, who wants to show up. Like, 
And that's the main goal. Like I said, I just love seeing people active, mm. especially early in the morning, because I think that's when everybody's at their best. Mm. You know, the day hasn't hit you. Life hasn't come at you. You're rested. You're re- you can think clearly. Yeah. Any decision that you make at this time, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it, hey, it is who you are. <laughs> so, so, you know what I mean? So I encourage people to get up in the morning and attack the day. Right. Like, that's like the biggest thing. Like, you know, I'm a super early riser. You know what I mean? But I, I use it for my own mental, like, you know what I mean? To plot on my day. Mm-hmm. But Prepare. I encourage other people to, you know what I mean? To do the same, but also engage. Right. Like, I used to be one of those guys that uh, wake up. You know, like 20 minutes before work, <laughs> kind of roll out and <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, let's go. And like, Put a hat on out Yeah, the like, I'm all out of here. You know, like a shower last night. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean? But I had my day or, we'll or, drag where, still. or where I want my thoughts to go mm-hmm. would have no direction. Right. So you're just catching up on the fly. And then, you know, but now, like I said, I plot on what I want to think about, what I want to give my inner, mental energy to. Right. Because that's a big thing. And like I said, that's one of the habits I picked up from the gym because I know I have to work legs out tomorrow. I need to kind of probably stay off them a little bit and like, you know what I mean? And do other things that don't require much, you know what I mean? Just because I know I have a heavy leg day right. coming up. Like, you know, and so, and like I said, everything just transfers over to the personal life and, you know, what we give our energy to, you know, where the focus goes, you know what I'm saying? That's energy, what manifests. It, yeah. yeah that's you know what I mean? energy is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so that's like the big thing. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. I love it. Um, I I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm glad I was able to track you down, um, <laughs> and uh, and that we were able to connect and everything. And um, I would I I, I want to come to the gym. Like that sounds great. And I need to prepare for the next pageant coming up next April and stuff too. So yeah, that sounds that would be so much fun no, to do for sure. Love to have you. You know what I mean. Like I say, if you want to learn a couple workouts, yeah. or if you want, you know what I mean, like. Anything you need, we can help you with and willing to do so. That'd be awesome. And I appreciate you having me on here and let me talk about the weight pile on the Rockies. And like I said, moving forward, I hope the community, like I said, just make it whatever you guys, whatever you envision it to be. You know what I mean? I want you to make, you know, the weight pile on the Rockies what you want it to be. And so that's like a big thing for me. Awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to add or talk about? Um, not at this moment. I would like to thank all the companies mm-hmm. and the people who donated. You know, I, 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 and I'm sorry if I miss you. I apologize, you know, because a lot of people's names, you know, but I want to thank locally uh, Sharky's Tattoo, you mm-hmm. know, right here on 3rd. You know, they donated a lot of equipment. I had a uh, Monahan family donated a great power rack last night. Had a family, uh, and I forget their name. <laughs> And that's terrible. But over on the uh, west side of Longmont, donated like a basketball hoop. So we're going to have a basketball hoop up. So you know what I mean? Awesome. If you want to shoot a couple of, you there know, you after go. you work out, there yeah. you have it. You know what I mean? And, you know, like I said, just I want to thank everybody for mm-hmm. just chipping in and, you know, just. And it also, too, it re, re, re-energized my spirit. Just the amount of people, like I said, that just were like on board with my vision or with, you know what I mean? Like when, when you're on the same page with people or they understand you and you feel understood, like. That's a connection that that's you just, can't beat. Yeah. That, <laughs> I you got know, you. Like I find, no, I mean, like I said, like it just, I just feel heard. Yes. And I, and when I, you know what I mean? And it just brings out more, mm-hmm. like me wanting to do more, me wanting Feeds to, that fire. how can I help you? Absolutely. Like, you know, and I even tell people all the time, like, Hey, what are you working on? How can I help you? Or, you know what I mean? And so it's, it's, just, it's just, like I said, it's just been a beautiful thing. And it's been a beautiful thing in my life period, especially from where, I, where I've been to where I am now. And it's just, like I said, it's just an amazing feeling. And I'm thankful to the people of Longmont. And you know what I mean? Everybody who participates and everybody who comes down, I'm just very happy. Thank you so much, Penny, for being on my show today. And, um, yeah, I look forward to, to seeing where you go and uh, maybe what we can do together and stuff just to just to help bring bring your your vision of this to life. That would be fantastic. No, like I said, I appreciate it. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thank you to my guests, my listeners, and my supporters. Serving together, we can strengthen our community. Please like and subscribe. Do all those other things. You know you got to do them. Because that's the easiest way that you can serve right now. 
All right, now go. Connect with others and be a blessing.